Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am the Motorcycle Rescuer and this is Motorcycle Rescuer. So yes, uh, welcome back. Um, someone on my Facebook page, on our Facebook page actually, asked where I was the other day. I've been quiet. I have been um, super busy with life. Uh, but I have been doing bits and pieces. Um, I was uh, very happy with the outcome of the re-edited version of my first ever video. I thought, Honestly, I thought it was really good once re-edited. Um, and you can hear it in my voice and you don't see me on camera very nervous doing my first video it took a lot of courage and that's for you guys to think about some of you lot out there doing these videos um, you can do it honestly don't worry if, if you're in front of camera or behind it for now don't worry about that get your voice heard get out there and um, you'll be fine but saying that in the winter I do slow down a little bit and that was quite quick to point out that it's quite hard to work outside in the winter and he's absolutely right and on top of that my car broke down the other day I'm going to try and do a fix there today I was meant to go up this morning to get the paint for the CB and yeah the car broke down on my dad so uh, I need to sort that out but I've got something else quite interesting I think I'm going to be pulling out that little Chinese bike soon today or tomorrow also Dylan is coming back he had the little CBF a few weeks back I think he's ordered some parts to make a street fighter out of it this is what happened with my car. When I switched it on with the key, the fan came on immediately, you know, full speed. And it's stone cold, so there's no reason why. And then I've gone around the, you know, what you'd normally look at on bikes and older cars, normally thermostats, cooling issues. Um, normally um, the electric switch on the, on the radiator, it might have got stuck, meaning that it's telling the fan that it's, it needs it, the, um, the cooling, basically. And then I went online and um, and uh, Googled it, and actually, people were going nuts. People were talking about new, new coil packs because the fan was on full time and, and this and that. And then one person mentioned a uh, split in the uh, intake pipe. And I thought, hang on a minute, why, why would that be an issue, though? A split in the intake pipe? Uh, surely not an issue. And then I was, I was rooting around, and then I saw this, which is a huge split. Let me get you there, look. Basically, hang on, down there. Look, the whole pipe split, and that goes into the turbo, so um, that's the issue there. It's a pressurized pipe. Uh, Paul um, told me that this morning. So that means basically it, um, it holds a lot of pressure in there. So the fix needs to be temporary. I have ordered the new part, but my dad needs to use the car generally because of his mobility. So I do need to just do a quick fix today. Glue, tape, whatever it takes, just to get him back on the road for a few days. Okay, so I'm over here working on the car. I need to get that done first. But Dylan's back with the CBF that you saw a couple of weeks ago. Now these bikes make stunning street fighters, so that's what he's done. He's ordered a new set of bars. These are so bent anyway. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's this one, it's up. Uh, new set of bars, new headlight, new headlight bracket, new clock, Dylan? Yeah. Did you could do the clock? Yeah. New clock. And then we're going to polish, we're going to cut and polish the tank. If we can get this sticker off, that'll be even better. Uh, not much we can do here, just a bit of tape to make it safe. And ultimately today we should have a Street Fighter CBF. Honestly, when you take the... Um, the front bracket off, it's so heavy. These bikes feel so much better once you've done that. Uh, and actually, the ones I've had in the past quicker than the CBR version um, because of the lightness. Uh, Rabjab's gonna be here in a minute. I'm gonna rely on Rabjab for once to actually help properly this time because why I'm doing this repair here. But as soon as I'm finished over there, I'll be back over here to help out as much as possible. So Dylan's task at the moment is just to remove the front end. Uh, I'm not putting Dylan on camera, he's young, he's 17, and, and he's um, 
I don't know if you asked not to, did you? You're probably best not to for now. But um, when he's a little bit older and he, if he wants to do more here, he's more than welcome to. So you're going to see a transformation today, hopefully, between um, normal standard CBF, like you've seen in the past, that already has a nice exhaust, to a Street Fighter. So annoyingly, after ordering a brand new one, this pipe isn't actually dead yet. Um, what's happened is you have this in piece that goes onto the turbo here. And instead of it having snapped, which is what it looked like, it's blown itself out so the, the retaining clip hasn't hold, held it in place. I'm actually going to put some glue on this and put it back in and, um, and reuse it. That'll be absolutely fine for a few days. Uh, well, I mean, that'll be fine anyway, actually. So, uh, and I don't know how long, you know, it might have worked its way out a while back. The engine management light's been on a little while, so hard to tell. I mean, it's been winding well and perfectly well. So maybe, maybe not. But for now, that goes in. Um, with some super glue just for kind of peace of mind on this occasion and it can slide back on and be uh, nipped back up again so might have had a quick save here hopefully it really does fix the job that fan needs to not be going on and staying on when I turn the key off especially when the car isn't you know up to temp or what's happened is the alternative is that this is separate this split a while back we didn't even notice carried on using it and then the fan issue is separate as well well I didn't really well um hated the thought of it sitting down there for eight months doing nothing you, you see. bought that back for no reason Sultan yeah we know that when advised not to uh, you weren't on camera mate uh, I'm, I'm, I've got my angle very careful don't worry in fact, what you did was you went and stood in the mirror, um, but you're still not on camera. Uh, for a very, very rare occasion, guys. As rare as seeing a dodo, Rabjab's actually holding a spanner um, and helping out. Dylan, this is what I meant last time. In the past, I have kept this. I think it that. Yeah, you're going to have to, yeah. Um, and actually, just, just take picture of where they go so that we don't get back into the same yeah take a picture of this is the same thing but yeah 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 right so where so it's red and black into where all right let's cut cut this who's got the scissors all right so we've got red and black on the left which goes to orange and green so that's fine we can pop that and then on the other side we've got blue and green that goes to the indicator so it's the long blue and green here and it's the short orange and green Act uh, but what we'll do is we will cut it here we'll leave the um we'll leave the red bits on so that we know what we're working with if that makes sense so look i'll cut here Take this off. and then we'll come you can leave that they can come off later this. um cut it is that both cables? Yeah. So, um, That's it. just, just, uh, bottom That's one. Is that, that, is that, does that not come out? I think that's one that you, that you pull out, Rab Jeb. Right, hang on, hang on. Cable tie, look. So, for our reference, this one is indicators. These two are high beam. That's green and dark blue high beam. What's under the high beam? Neutral light. Neutral light is this black and this kind of light blue with a black line and black. And what else do we need to worry about? We're unsure about certain things. Uh, there's not necessarily a rev counter on the new one, although you can connect sometimes to the coil to get that. What else? And Dylan's going to test... If he can get the the fuel gauge working, it looks to me like it's them three at the bottom. That's yellow, green, and black. But I have to be honest, um, I'm not sure if we'll get the fuel gauge working and calibrated. Um, so them three at the bottom. So for now, to an extent, I'd probably these pull out. So I'd probably keep these on their bulbs now that we've referenced what they are. And then in a way, in a way you want to chop everything else off. And I know it sounds nuts, but 
except for of course these three you want to undo these three and then what's this bulb over here ah so that's the backlight so actually we can keep this green and yellow as the backlight and we'll use that as the backlight for the new backlight so we've kind of got everything we need in these bulbs here really the one underneath and then we just want them three down there guys and ev all the others oh what's this bulb down here then ah uh, engine check light now I don't think I don't think I think we're going to have to lose that is this injection? there's a few injections no it's not what? there's a few injections it's a 13 I think it is fuel injection. Yeah, all Hondas are all back fuel injection. I didn't even know that. All right, uh, so the check light, we'll have to kind of work out what we do with that. We're probably going to cut it. So, anything else you can cut. Take them three out. Don't cut them. One, <clears throat> two, three. They have to be the fuel. Black and green. Yellow and white. We'll have to play with them. So that's a big old fail. Um, you can hear the fans on. I've only run it for 30 seconds. The pipe's okay now, that's all fixed. Um, I think I was unlucky enough to have a secondary problem come up. Uh, so I don't know what that is. Possibly the, um, the, uh, the switch that I talked about earlier. I have no idea where it is. But of course we're going to need to look into this a bit more to see what um, what's going on. Problem is, this fan last time stayed on for 10-15 minutes and it um, basically cools the battery. Someone said just remove the fan um, fuse and generally you don't need it over winter because you rarely get up to temperature. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but I might need to remove it for a few days until I can work out what the actual fix is. Now it has to be for me the fan switch, the temperature switch because because it's not up to temperature. Um, even if it was, it, it can't be the thermostat stuck open, it wouldn't make a difference. It hasn't circulated, it hasn't got to the temperature to stick the switch on. It has to be that the switch is stuck on. So I need to do a bit more research to work this out. Um, and I need to hope it turns off soon, otherwise I will have to remove the fuse. Rev Jeff did none of the work. Mm, I took the bolts every off. Look guys, look at the bike so far. I, I think... Dylan, step back a bit. Not in the... Mind the, the puddle though. Step back a bit. Look at the... Um, look at, in fact... Go round that way, Dylan. Go round all the way round. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you so you're not on camera. Right. Yep, now step back. Look at the front of the bike. You can see it already. Look at that. It's a different bike. It's, it, you can see it already. So much better with the straight bars, the light on. It's going to look nice once we've done it. Yeah, it's going to look 100 times better. Well worth the progress. Uh, some of the lessons you're learning here, don't undo these nuts first because, um, because you'll need some purchase to get some of these ones off. Take them out at the end. And when you put the new ones on, put all of the side things on first and then nip down the middle ones by hand. Then line everything up and then nip it all down. We're probably going to have to drill locating lugs. Um, yep, there's one under there and there'll be one under here as well. Uh, it's getting there. It looks much better already. So, guys, while um, Rev Jab and Dylan are behind doing that, uh, the car fan is still staying on, but actually it's not a huge issue. It doesn't bother me too much. Check this out. This is the head for the Chinese bike. It's actually all back in good nick, but... I have been messing with this exhaust stud, basically drilling it out, but my attempt is to drill it out without, I want it to come out basically, I don't want it to wreck the threads, I don't want to have to re um, put threads back in, what do you call it, but, um, but I will if I have to. So I'm going to continue drilling this out in the background while these guys are working on the CBF, because tomorrow I'd love to get it on the 125 and see if we can fire that up again. If we can then we'll be looking at building another 125 um, slowly. It's gonna take a while, but the hardest part is making sure that we have an engine that starts and runs. 
All right, guys, look at this tank. Just going to show you close up of this tank. It's not just dirt, it's kind of past it. I'm going to show you how well the turtle wax repair and shine works. Um, so we'll give this tank a quick clean with the finger gas spray or something similar first. And then the turtle wax repair and shine is going to make a miracle out of this. So see the tank now? There's the tank. And I'll show you after. All right, guys, so this is how we're looking at the moment. That's the new bars. I mean, the, the stance of the bike looks so much better. They are a bit long, these bars, but it's quite good for stability. Otherwise, we'll chop off. Dylan can come back in a few weeks if they feel a bit long, and we'll chop them down to here. Um, they'll feel much better like that. I mean, it actually, I think it looks longer than they really are on camera. Here in person, they don't look too long. And the stance of the bike, it works, actually. Uh, so we've kind of got the bars done really as in it would be usable now but we need to get the front light on and that's fairly quick and easy so front light out the box brackets on and then we'll position the lamp on occasion on occasion you can use the original loom here with the lamp it may be an option but we don't know yet I'll, sh I'll be able to show you that in a minute so headlight needs to go on next 